Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a DIY No Pro grip with a built in battery. It will also work with your GoPro. So these are the parts you'll need. I'll post uh, links in the description below, uh, but first I shall go through them one by one. So the first thing you need is a mountain bike handlebar grip. So I've got one here, uh, just remove this plug, uh, we'll use that later. Um, so it's just a standard size grip, nothing special really, just buy whatever takes your fancy really. Uh, then we need a USB external battery pack. So this has got a uh, standard USB socket to plug in your devices and a micro USB to charge the device. It's also got a built in flashlight. Next we've got a hot shoe uh, tripod mount adapter. So this is usually used for attaching to your SLR camera and then attaching a smaller camera to the top. Um, but in our case, we'll use this to attach our GoPro to a um, handlebar grip. Uh, and then finally, we've got a GoPro tripod mount adapter. So the basic idea is take the battery, take the grip, uh, put the bolt on top and the tripod mount attaches to that bolt. So the first thing we need to do is get this bolt through the grip and poke it out the top. So I've put a bit of string in the hole at the top of the grip and it comes out the bottom. Um, we're then going to tie a loop and tie a knot around this bolt, um, wrap around the excess and secure it with a bit of tape and we'll secure it with another bit of tape because you need quite a bit of force to pull it through the uh, grip. Um, so we push the bolt into the grip and push it as far as we can. Then you can use a chopstick or a pen um, and push it as, all the way to the top. And when it gets near the top, you can pull it through uh, that little hole using the uh, string. So it's quite tricky to do um, because it's quite a tight fit. And obviously you can't really push it through with your fingers. It's quite, quite tricky. So there we go, it's through. So we remove the string. Um, it's already quite secure in there, uh, but we'll secure it further using one of the nuts. So we just screw that on. Uh, we then add on the second nut and the tripod mount. We then um, twist the top nut back onto the tripod mount to secure it nice and tight. So there we go, it's done. It's a bit bendy at the moment, but once the battery's in, it's fine. So we've got the grip, we've got the battery, we just need to insert the battery into the grip. It's actually really tight fit, um, so it's quite quite difficult to get it all the way in there. Um, so you can either just push it all the way in or you can remove the case. So you just unscrew the end there and just have a look at the internal. So we've got the battery, USB sockets and an LED. Um, so I don't really need a flashlight function when it's inside the grip, so I'm going to disable it. So I've just snipped off that red cable there. Um, there we go, I've just pushed it out of the way now and the battery, the uh, LED is disabled. So you may find that your um, battery fits nice and securely in there. Mine's a little bit loose without the case. Um, so you could put some glue on there or, or a magnet and push it in and it should hopefully stick to the uh, to the tripod adapter that's at the top there. So you can push it in, you could also try pushing in this lid, this uh, screw uh, to secure it in there, which should do the trick, or you can use the plug which comes with the packaging if you get one. Uh, there we go, so I could put a wrist strap on that, on the end there. Um, so to charge, obviously remove the plug, um, have your uh, USB cable plugged in at the bottom, 15 centimeter or so cable should do it. So here we are with the underwater housing attached. Um, this is the housing for my SJ4000 camera, which I'm actually recording this on now. Um, it's a no pro sort of clone for a fraction of the price, but it's a pretty impressive camera uh, for the money. Um, so there we go, it's, it's attached. It uses standard GoPro adapters uh, and all the different mounts and so on. Um, so you can do whatever you need to do with the, uh, the mounts there. So let's take a look at the, uh, the battery life. So I used standard settings, so I recorded 1080p 30 frames per second video with audio and the screen off. 
Uh, the internal battery lasted 1 hour 33 minutes and with the internal and the external battery it lasted just under 5 hours. So that's uh, quite an impressive increase uh, of over 200%. So that should be plenty of time. So I'm pretty happy with the, the uh, final thing. Um, it looks it looks pretty good. It looks quite professional. Um, so yeah, give it a go and uh, let me know how you get on. Thanks for watching.